starting this off as a kind of a day in the life today. Uh, it is April 13th. I am going split boarding here in uh, Jackson, Wyoming. Got my snowmobile in the back. I don't know if you can see it being trailered back there. And uh, yeah, going out to my favorite spot. All right, hey everybody, Mike, Mountain Weekly News. Just got out here to my spot. And uh, look at that. Those are some really, really big animal tracks. Um, fuck. Today, I am testing out the 2023 Arbor Landmark Cantonburg Splitboard. As you notice, I've got the Union bindings on there. I have a feeling this board is going to ride just the way I like to ride. And I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like there's some sort of hawk or something up there. I uh, just had those big animal tracks. Uh, but anyway, I'm out here again. Um, Arbor teamed up with Cola. Cola has been making Arbor skins for a couple years now. Uh, this is the Angusta. I think that's how you pronounce it, skin. And uh, yesterday I was kind of hot touring. Uh, I had a little bit of down layer on. So today I'm going back to my trusty shell. This is the uh, Norona Loftatin, Loftatin Gore-Tex Pro. If you don't know about the Norona stuff, you really should. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch over here, get ready to go tour. And uh, it should be just an incredible day. I was beat down yesterday. It took about three, three and a half hours to put the skin track up to the top. Uh, it felt like it was the first day of the season. Everything was fully in. So very excited today to be able to follow my skin track back up. Hopefully it'll take half that time and I'd really like to get two laps in. One, two. I think there's probably a lot of people out there that think I play favorites toward Union, but uh, I started on Sparks. I really love the Sparks. I think Will and Becca and Dan and that whole crew is fucking awesome. Um, and to show you that I don't play favorites, that spark sticker was on here way before the Union sticker. Uh, and then this one's kind of cool. If you're ever in the Jackson area, Jackson Hole Outdoor Leadership Institute. Uh, this is put on by Jake Urban, Jake Urban, or otherwise known as Jacob. And uh, Jake taught all the first aid. Uh, Jake, taught, Jake teaches all the first aid, all the avalanche courses. He taught search and rescue, uh, how he was kind of the search and rescue trainer. So yeah, definitely check those guys out if you ever want to take a first aid course, do a corporate uh, private course or anything like that. Really good people, really good friends, and uh, just a great asset to have in this community. All right, got the Arbor Landmark with the Union Bindings. To get these bindings off, we've done this numerous times in these videos. Basically, you just unbuckle, is what I like to do. Well, you don't have to unbuckle, but... Take the pin out, the binding sling, sling will one spin one direction. That is left to right. Again, with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and undo everything. I'm gonna pull the pin out. I'm gonna swing left to right. Binding is off. Now to go into tour mode. This board has the Karakorum locks. I really like this style of Karakorum lock with the little hinge that locks so you can actually hear it. Uh, and I haven't really had problems with those ones not coming apart. Uh, lately, some of the new clips for split boarding has made it really tough to get the board apart once you get down the mountain. And man, I could just tell you what, if you needed to go back up the hill, if there was an avalanche or something, and all of a sudden, you're spending all that time trying to get your damn board apart. You're going to be fucking bummed at best. So go ahead and put the pin in. I'm trying to do this while I'm talking. And like so. Okay. That is in. Oops. That one's ready to go. Got one more here. As you can see with where I just clicked my skis right there, or my binding uh there's gonna be a lot of snow today it's uh probably snowed another oh six inches to a foot down low and uh yesterday there was oh i don't know two to three feet of fresh snow up top so again this is the pin binding you just find the hole put it in bam good to go you know for some reason i found that for me it's easier to put my skins on and off 
while I'm actually not using my gloves. Um, you obviously learn to be quick if you're gonna do that. This is that Arbor Angusta skin. Yeah, it's got a little bit of extra room on the side, which is nice, nice and plush. As I've showed before in other videos, basically just take my hand and come all the way down the length of the skin. Standard tip connector on this Cola Arbor skin. And then they've got their own kind of Cola hooks. I think Union was the first one to actually use these with Cola. This is the first time I've used them, so I actually need to tighten that a little bit. And this one, it looks like you just kind of push the strap through, lock it down, and you know, let me get that on there. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit tighter. You know, you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. Um, I think you get to the point where you find that happy medium. You know, it should be kind of hard to get on, kind of hard to get off. All right, so that one is good to go. Oops, got one more here. Go ahead and mount this one up. You know, in this instance, I've got my snowmobile here, which is nice because it helps me be able to put my skin on without having to get the skin down into the snow and the ski. Um, clearly, when you're on top of the mountain, again, that's not going to be an option. You know, take my hand and just rub it down the length. I'm going to show you a fun trick that I learned um, to take my jacket off when I need to get a layer off. Let's see, I think I need to adjust that a little bit more. Um, so basically, I have a powder skirt on with this jacket. I've got a layer, uh, a down layer of Patagonia that I use to snowmobile in. But I don't want to take my whole jacket off because what if I was on top of the mountain and it was really dumping? So maybe this seems counterintuitive and maybe you already do this, but bam, got my layer off. And then all I got to do is put my arms back in my sleeves. Bam. So it's almost like wearing a onesie when you do it that way. Um, anything to be a little bit more efficient in the mountains. It is chilly right now to start, but I think I'd rather start cold today and then put that layer on up top. Um, I might be regretting that here really soon, but we'll see. All right, well, touring. Probably another four to five inches on the skin track that I put in yesterday. Super psyched, and I'm down low. Uh, at least I do have the skin track in, so even if it's covered in snow, it's gonna be so much easier uh, than it was yesterday. So far, slipboard's touring well. Um, you know, the landmark is a full cambered slipboard, so I do expect it to be good on the up. And uh, those cola skins, they're good. It's a little tacky, so a little slower going than I would like, but it might just be the snow conditions. Okay, I've talked about the uh, skin track etiquette before. So yesterday I was the first one in here. I put a new skin track in, I was by myself. So that's the skin track with some fresh snow. As you can see, this lower ski went into this little slot, okay? So what I'm gonna do this time with this upper ski, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna step right here. Now what this is gonna do is this gonna put me on the opposite trajectory. So now I just push down on that high part. Now I just push down on that high part and so and so. And if you watch what happens, okay? So all I'm doing is just stepping on the higher pieces of snow. Now look at the skin track. And reason I'm doing it like this, I'm gonna put a little extra work in just to step on the upper parts of the snow. That way when I come back here tomorrow and then come back here with some friends over the weekend, we've got a really, really nice skin track. Otherwise what's gonna happen is the tendency is everybody's gonna follow and go into that low track. And then all of a sudden you're gonna have a really uneven skin track. So just take that extra time and step on the snow. And I actually make a point to kind of push down you know, you'll hear it. 
Well, so far so good. Touring on this uh, new setup from Arbor. Yeah, it's just really nice back here. One of my favorite spots in the planet. I'm about halfway up, taking a little break. Here's my skin track from yesterday. You can kind of see it S turning all the way up. And then there's my skin track from today, coming in from the valley floor. Uh, I really try and make a point to not do kick turns. I know I talk about this in the videos, but uh, I really don't see there being any reason to do that when you can round out your turns and be more efficient. Uh, anytime you're lifting up your feet to do a kick turn, that's gonna exert more energy than it would be to slide your feet. I'll tell you what, slipboarding is sure one hell of a workout at times. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow, if you slipboard, you get to go to some pretty amazing places. A little socked in today, but this zone has so much potential. All right, it's gonna be fucking epic. Holy shit! Let's make sure I get this right today. I got a traverse over. To get to the run. Thank <laughs> you. 